Hey guys, welcome back to John's Curiosity channel. Uh, today we are going to talk about a Jupiter's Great Red Spot. Now, um, in today's video, we're going to talk about in the, the spot of Jupiter, um, the Great Red Spot is actually uh, shrinking. So, um, I didn't have time to prepare this video properly because I have a lot of things to do today. Um, but it's not much to talk about, it's just about the um, Great Red Spot. So, um, Jupiter's Great Red Spot may be reaching a milestone this year by shrinking to its smallest size in recorded history. Using the Win Dupos program and one of his recent high resolution images, Peach measured the great the great red spot's diameter on November the sixth, twenty twenty three, at twelve thousand five hundred kilometers across, which makes seven thousand seven hundred miles. It confirmed it would make this season's uh, Great Red Spot not only smaller than the Earth, which is 12,756 kilometers or 7,926 miles across, but the smallest size in controversial history. This compared from the late 1800s when a spot ballooned to 41,000 kilometers, which makes 25,000 miles, big enough to swallow three Earths with rooms to spare. Now it can, own, it can barely contain one. So uh, this is a sketch drawing of Jupiter from back in the late 1800s, comparing to 2023, last November. Uh, so now, what is a Great Red Spot? Um, the Great Red Spot, also known as a GRS, the GRS stands for Great Red Spot, is a persistent high pressured region in the atmosphere of Jupiter, producing an anti cyclonic storm that is the largest in the solar system. It is the most recognizable feature on Jupiter. Owing to its red orange color, reddish orange color, whose origin is still unknown. Located 22 degrees south of Jupiter's equator, it produces wind speeds up to 432 kilometers per hour winds, which is 268 miles per hour. Observations from 1665 to 1713 are believed to be one of to be of the same storm. If this is correct, it has existed for at least 360 years. Blimey, that's a long time. So where is Jupiter in the night sky? Now we're going to move on to the stargazing app. So bear with me guys, I'm going to bring this up. Oh, here we go. Now, this is the sky in my um, in my uh, um, home hometown, uh, Izmir. Uh, so now Jupiter is currently sitting in the west at ten thirty eight p.m. Uh, Turkish time. Um, so Jupiter is currently next to Aries, right, ne right between Aries and Taurus, which are two zodiac signs in um, in the uh, sky. Um, 
So Aries is currently setting along with Jupiter. Uh, 10.40 local Turkish time. Um, Jupiter is setting in the west. Uh, so this is what my uh, sky looks like in my hometown. And it's a clear night as well. So after I do this video and upload, I'm going to do some stargazing with my new telescope. And um, so, yeah, this is the stars I'm going to be seeing tonight uh, when I um, go outside into my garden. Um, this is what I'm going to be looking at in the east. Uh, Leo, Butez and Big Dipper also known as Ursa Major. Uh, Ursa Major is here um, and here is notable is as is well known as Big Dipper. I'm going to be looking at Leo um, Regulus which is uh, down which is up here. This is Regulus the brightest star in Leo constellation. Uh, and right now I seem to be having trouble moving the um, stars are oh, it's broken again keeps doing that guys always doing it so yeah so let's go back to the presentation now because this stargazing app is buggered is always does that um, so we're gonna go over it again because this is a very short video um, so I put the a uh, lot of pictures comp comparing to Jupiter's uh, what's it called spot a great red spot great red spot from 2023 all the way back to 2018 so it looks to me it has been shrinking if you look if you look closely actually um, the big great red spot and uh, not only is turning um not only is getting smaller but it seems to get lighter color as well uh in 2021 2022 and 2023 most recent picture it clearly shows that the um the, the spot has gone lighter uh more yellowish color well orange yellow color and before it was red orange so um yeah it's been um observed since um 1665 uh, and apparently it, the great red spot has been seen in those years which indicates it's been the, it's been active on Jupiter for uh, hundreds of years um, I'm pretty sure it's a lot older than 360 years uh, but um, yeah located 22 degrees south of Jupiter's equator with the wind speeds up to 268 miles per hour roughly but we don't fully know um, the origin of the Jupiter spot is still unknown we still don't know when, when or where did the um, Jupiter spot appear from, and why it's there. We may never know. Probably, hopefully we will. Maybe in our next life. <laughs> I, okay. Uh, so yeah. Um, this is the uh, picture of Jupiter taken from NASA and European Space Agency. That also clearly shows that Jupiter's um, spot is shrinking and gone more lighter than usual. So yeah, uh, I wonder what's going to happen in the next uh, 50 years or so if I'm still here. But I'll be 78 years old by then. <laughs> I'm 28 years now, I'm 27, but I'll be 28 on May the 15th. Um, and I'm not um, scared enough to share my birthday details to you lot, um, but I'm not going to give my, well, I kind of have given my year away. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, this is all I have for Jupiter today. Uh, Jupiter's uh, red spot update. So, um, yeah, this is it, guys. Um, 
I'm going to leave the video there today. Uh, it is a short one, um, but I do have more videos coming up soon, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm sorry I, the video was too short uh, again um, because uh, so much things going on lately and I can't dis discuss it uh, on the internet. Um, so, yeah. Um, thanks again for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, turn on notifications on, leave your comments, but not rude ones, guys. Thank I don't like rude comments. Uh, so, that's it. Uh, thanks again. I'll see you in the next video.